What is going on guys? It is DJX and today I am bringing you guys my first gameplay on uh, Infinite Warfare. It is a new Call of Duty from uh, Infinity Ward. It is the beta. It's only out for this weekend and next weekend. Um, this is my first act actual gameplay up on my channel. I played a lot of the game. I got to the max level you can get, which is level 30. And right now I'm using the gun. It's called the Karma 45. Now the thing about this gun is, if you guys played Ghost, you guys remember the Vector. The Vector was dominant. That thing was like the best gun ever. And this is no different, man. It looks exactly like the Vector. It it plays just like the Vector. I'm I'm always just gonna call it a Vector. And what this is is, I go on a little streak right here, and I get 25 kills in a row. But just like in, in all the other Infinity War games, you know how you used to get like 25 kills, you get a nuke. In this game. You cannot get a nuke unless you have the nuke variant on your gun, and the only SMG you can get that on is the P90 lookalike. I forgot the name of it, but um, I'm a, I don't know if I should count this as a nuke or not because it doesn't actually give you a nuke. But I did go on like a 25, 28 kill spree in this game, and what I really want to talk about is like what I feel about the game, how I feel about it. Um, I feel like it is Ghost Advanced Warfare Black Ops 3 all wrapped into one, into one mixture. Now, is the game good in my opinion? I don't know. And I'm not going to say it's either good or bad until we get the actual game in November. When I can actually figure out like all the features and all that. Because this is just a beta. This isn't just everything about the game. This is just small portions of it. It gives you the guns. It gives you some of the camos and only a couple of the maps. And, like, I, I'm not going to judge the game until I have the actual physical copy in my hand. And I forgot to mention, what we're playing right now is Defender on the map called Throwback. Defender is like Oddball from Halo, if you guys don't know what that is. Um, it's like Hardpoint and Uplink Mix. You ha if you have the ball in your hand, for every second you have it in your hand, that is a one point. And it goes all the way up to 250. And, uh, yeah, so that's the objective of this game. And I really didn't um, go for the objective that much in this game. I really, like, right now, I'm showing you guys the wall runs on this map. Like, people say that you can't really wall run this game. It's not as effective, but... It's it's kind of effective still. As, as you can see, you can still get pretty high up on the map. It honestly just depends on how the game goes, like when the actual game comes out. As of right now, the wall running is and is not OP. Uh, what I mean by that is, like, it can be OP if you get too high and you have a good shot. But if you don't have that good shot, it's not going to help you at all. Um, and... One of the things about this game that everybody's complaining about um, is the fast kill time. It kills super fast, guys. Like, the guns, don't get me wrong, they kill like three to four bullets, but the fire rate on the guns are so fast and the bullet reg is so, like, so good that you die so quick. So, it is just like, it's kind of like the ghost, um, where you die in ghost. I think you died in ghost a little bit faster, in my opinion. But I, I'm not sure how I feel about the, uh, the kill time yet. But I do realize that it is, it is an Infinity Ward game, and Infinity Ward has always had a fast kill time on all their games. So it's not really something we should really complain about, because it's really we should be expecting it, honestly. But, um, um, yeah, there's, so for what they give us in the game, they give us three maps to play in uh, three game modes, and the game modes were Domination, TDM, and Defender. Defender is what you're watching right now, and you guys know what Domination and TDM, those have been in the game since the beginning of Call of Duty. Um, and the three maps they gave us were Frontier, Frost, and this map right here, Throwback. Uh, Throwback's kind of like a baseball stadium type of uh, map. Frost is like a snow map. And then Frontier is like in a space uh, compound. compound. Uh, and when you kill people, they're like, the dead bodies float in the air. It's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about it. So I probably, it's, my, it's my least favorite uh, map of the beta. But um, nevertheless, all in all, the beta uh, it was good. Only thing I didn't like about the beta really was the fact that we had to wait eight hours to actually play the beta, which is kind of ridiculous. But they couldn't figure out the servers. What are you gonna do? There's like nothing you can do about it because they just didn't get the figures. They're, they just didn't get their servers figured out. And the reason I said that is that they didn't expect some people to be on the server. But it's like it's a beta, and you're giving everybody six codes, like six codes to everybody that bought the game. Like that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of codes. You guys should be expecting a lot of people on the beta. But other than that, guys, I don't have anything else to say about the beta. I uh, expect another upload later on today, uh, more gameplay. Other than that, guys, please be sure to leave a like if you do enjoy this new Infinity Ward game that is uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. If you enjoyed the gameplay, also leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you liked about the game, what you disliked about the game. And follow me on Twitter down the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, and it's been your boy DJX. I am out.
peace. Your teammate. 